Have you ever lost a file in Google Drive? Or spent hours searching through folders just to find one document? We've all been there. But no worries, Google Drive has some hidden features. From restoring deleted files to organizing with colors and even working offline, these tips will help you stay productive without the hassle. Let's dive into seven useful Google Drive tips and tricks that you probably didn't know about, but will definitely love. First up, Google Drive's Restore Files feature is beneficial if you accidentally delete something or want to go back to an older version of a file. If you delete a file, it goes to the trash folder and can restore it within the last 25 days. To do this, you need to go under the left-hand section. Here, you'll find the Trash option in the menu. Right-click on the file or folder you want to restore and choose the Restore option. You can now see the folder or file under the exact origin from where you deleted it. You can also check the version history of files, which means if you made a mistake on a document or changed something you didn't want to, you can go back to an earlier version. But here's a heads up. After 25 days, the file is gone for good, so make sure you restore it before that. Also, when you restore too many files at once, your drive can get messy. So it's good to be careful and only restore what you really need. Next up, one feature that we love is color coding, which allows you to organize folders based on color. It is similar to how you used colorful sticky notes, where you divided the theme according to color. This makes it easy to tell folders apart at a glance, so you don't have to waste time opening each one to check what's inside. That's pretty useful if you have multiple folders for different projects, subjects, or types of documents. To do this, just right-click on a folder, hover over the Change Color option, and you'll see a bunch of color choices. Now pick the one as per your preferences. Once you choose a color, the folder will turn into that color, which makes it easy to spot among the others. This little trick can save time and reduce confusion, especially when dealing with a large number of folders. However, it's important to note that this feature only applies to folders. You won't be able to change the color of individual files. All right, another useful feature is Save to Google Drive, which is an extension. If you're constantly saving web content or screenshots, this Chrome extension can make the process easier. You can save entire web pages, images, and even audio or video files to your drive. Just right-click on any link, image, or media, and hit Save to Google Drive, and it'll be there. Also, if you need a full-page screenshot, then you can use the Browser Action button. For PDF, just print the page and choose Save to Google Drive from Chrome's print menu. Plus, you can change the settings to decide how your saved pages should be stored, whether as an image, raw HTML, MHTML, or even a Google Doc. Oh, and if you work with Microsoft Office or CSV files, there's an option to automatically convert them into Google Docs format. Once saved, you can rename, open, or organize the file right from the progress dialog. That's pretty convenient. But here's a small catch. This extension works well on regular web pages, so it might not save content properly from certain sites, especially social media feeds. Following that, Google Drive has this pretty convenient feature called Offline Mode, which lets you keep working on your documents without internet access. That's another useful feature for users who frequently travel or are stuck in places with spotty Wi-Fi. In such scenarios, navigate to the Settings option in the top right corner of Google Drive. Scroll down, and you can find the Offline option. This allows you to create, open, and edit Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides on the device, even in offline mode. The best part is, when you're back online, your changes automatically sync to the cloud. Now, if you're on mobile, you can make specific files available offline too. Open the Google Drive app, tap the three-dot menu next to a file, and select Available Offline. That's really convenient when you need access to important docs, whether you're on a plane, on a road trip, or just saving data. 
It's a must-use feature if you rely on Google Drive for work or school. One of the features we really like about Google Drive is how it can read text from images or PDFs. It's really helpful when you need to extract text from an image or a scanned document without manually typing everything out. To do this, upload your image or PDF to Google Drive, then right-click on it and select Open with Google Docs. Then you will get the full text from that image in the new document. That's really functional, especially when you've got a lot of text in an image and need to copy it without manually typing it all out. But one thing you should keep in mind is that the feature isn't always spot on. If the text in the image is hard to read or uses a fancy font, it might not get things right. And most importantly, if you're extracting sensitive info, make sure you're trusting the image source and the tool is secure enough to protect your privacy. The next tip is really useful, which gets your task done faster. Keyboard Shortcut allows you to quickly access specific functions or content without having to go through multiple steps. This saves time and manages your workflow. For example, when selecting or unselecting an item in Google Drive, you can simply press Shift plus Space instead of clicking the item with your mouse. This simple yet useful shortcut can really save time when the tasks require a lot of selection. To explore more keyboard shortcuts in Google Drive and get detailed tips for better navigation, you can open Google Drive, then press Ctrl plus slash on Windows or Command plus slash on Mac. This will bring up an available list of shortcuts, which can save you time. But always keep in mind that shortcuts might take time to get used to. Also, some shortcuts may conflict with others from different apps. And Google Drive doesn't allow a full customization option, but it offers built-in shortcuts for most tasks. Last on the list is Google Drive's Keep Track feature, which is actually more of a combination of how it tracks and manages your file changes. The feature lets you see when a file was last modified, who made the changes, and what those changes were. It's pretty useful if you're working with a team or just need to track the progress of a project over time. Alongside that, you can easily check the version history of a document, spreadsheet, or presentation. So, if you've ever made an accidental change, you can always roll back to an earlier version. You can also leave comments and even reply to comments in real time, which makes collaboration a lot smoother. As for things to consider, the only concern is making sure your permissions are set correctly. If you're sharing documents with others, it's important to decide whether you want people to just view, comment, or edit the file. So, limit editing access to protect privacy. And there you have seven Google Drive tips and tricks that are going to make your file organizing much easier. Hope you found these tips helpful. Let us know in the comments which one you're going to start using or if you've got any secret tips to share. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.